Hey everybody, in this topic I'm going to explain format specifiers. Format specifiers, when used in the context of an f-string, they allow us to format a value based on what flags are inserted. Following your value, you would type a colon and then some flags. Depending on what flags you insert, it will format your output a certain way. You could add decimal point precision, allocate space, zero pad values, left justify, right justify, center align, all sorts of things. Let's have some practice. I'll create three prices. Price one, price two, price three. Price one will be 3.14159. These values aren't in dollars and cents yet, but they will be. Price two will be negative 987.65. As you can see, I'm just making up numbers here. Price three is 12.34. Let's display our prices using some F strings. Price one is placeholder price one. Then we will do this for price two and price three. Price two is price two. Price three is price three. Within our placeholder, following the value, we can add a colon then some flags. Those flags are the format specifiers. They will format our value a particular way depending on what we insert after the colon. To add decimal point precision, you would type after the colon, dot, then the amount of decimals to be displayed, maybe two, then F meaning floating point number. Let's do that with price two and price three. Colon, dot, two, F. Price 1 is now 3.14. Price 2 is negative 987.65. Price 3 is 12.34. I think I'm going to add some dollar signs before the placeholder. Yeah, that's much better. For less precision, maybe one decimal place, you can change the 2 to a 1. So, 0.1f. Each number only displays one decimal. 0 0.1, 0 0.6, 0 0.3 whereas in 0.3f would display three decimal places, 0 0.142, 0 0.650, 0 0.340. Even though price 2 and price 3 only have two decimal places in the original numbers, we will concatenate some additional zeros. To allocate space to display a value, after the colon, add some number, some number for that many spaces. How about 10? Each value now has a total of 10 spaces to display the output. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If you were to precede a number with 0, well, these numbers would be 0 padded. Each number is now 0 padded. To left justify a value, you would use a left angle bracket. All these numbers are now left justified. Then we have all of the space after. They're all uniform. Right justify would be a right angle bracket. And I believe that's the default. Center align, I believe, is the caret symbol. Yep, our numbers are now centered. If you have any positive values, and you would like to display a plus sign, just use plus. Any positive number is preceded with the plus sign, any negative number is preceded with the negative sign. Or you could use a space for any positive numbers. So colon, space. These numbers are lined up evenly, even though we have a negative number in here. There is a thousand separator, which is a comma. We should probably increase the value of our prices. 3,000, negative 9,870, 1,200. Each thousands place is now separated with a comma. We could also mix and match flags. I would like a thousand separator along with decimal point precision of two decimal places. And why not? I will precede each number with a plus sign if it's positive. Yep, here we are. 
So based on what you're looking for, you can add some combination of flags. So yeah, those are format specifiers, everybody. Within your placeholder, insert your value, a colon, then certain flags based on what you're looking for exactly. But yeah, those are just a few format specifiers in Python.